All right, let's talk about this fucking Creighton. All right. Um, so, uh, kind of what's been up with it. Um, I broke an upper arm, I broke a lower arm. So, uh, I got some replacements. Um, I didn't go with RPM because I know uh, they're soft and they flex. And I felt like the flex with the RPM arms on this truck would be too much. And I feel like the flex would cause other issues. So I went with uh, just stock arms. Um, I did do some tricks uh, with them. Uh, I did some searching, digging around in the interwebs and found uh, people boil these for, uh, I don't know the, don't remember all the babble, but um, supposedly it makes them a little bit softer, not as prone to break. So I boiled the arms that were put on here. See how that works. I also WD-40'd these arms. Uh, been doing that for a while with my cars is soaking the plastics with WD-40. Uh, and that seems to kind of soften them up, makes them a little bit more, more um, flexible. Um, now, what I think about the XRT and the Creighton, comparing them, what I think. Um, nobody's asked, but I'm just gonna give you what I think anyways. Um, depends on what you want to do with the trucks. Um, I think if you just want to go out and do some bashing, have some fun, XRT. Don't really got to do much to it. It's super forgiving on bad landings, you know, because it's so light. Uh, you know, it does have its quirks. All RCs do. Uh, but yeah, the uh, XRT, you get it captured hinge pins, some better wheels, something like, um, like those Proline mashers, I think is what they're called. Um, and, uh, ESC and really that's it. There's not much else, you know. The mileage may vary, but that, that that's really about it. Um, and you got a solid truck that you can jump and bash and, you know, not have a whole lot of issues with. This truck is a good truck. You know, it, it, it says, you know, extreme bash. Um, and you can. You can bash, you know, do all kinds of crazy junk uh, with this truck but in my opinion this is the truck that you get and you build um, you put your M2C chassis on it you you know gear it to the moon you do this you do that and you just build this insane truck or in this case, truggy, whatever you want to call it, um, and you and you just launch it, uh, take out airplanes with it, <laughs> you know, do all that stuff. Um, that's what I think. In between the XRT and the Creighton, if you want an extreme basher that you can build and do all kinds of crazy stuff with Creighton. It's a great platform to do that with. If you want something to take out of the box, bash, have fun, you know, XRT. You know, you can extreme bash with it, send it to the moon, whatever, XRT. Parts are cheap. They're everywhere. That's the way to go. But if you want to build something insane, Creighton. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this, but... Uh, this chassis is bent. Uh, let's see. I don't know. Ah, I'll show you. It's real slight, but it does have 
It does have a bend in there. I don't know. Can't tell if you can see it or not. But there's a bend in there. Bowed a little bit. Um. So yeah. Yeah, that, that's... That's my opinion. I'm not saying the Creighton's better than the XRT. I'm not saying the XRT's better than Creighton. Uh, but what I am saying is... Uh, they're two different trucks. And get the one based on your goals. You know what I mean? Uh, I, I just don't agree with putting a bunch of weight on the XRT. Anyways, starting to ramble, which is nothing new. Uh, like I said, this, this is just my two cents uh, that nobody asked for. Um, at the end of the day, you know, experiment, you know. Do everything I said not to do to that. Try it out. It may work for you. You know what I mean? Um, do your own thing, you know. Don't, don't take what anybody says on these YouTubes. And these TikTokers and whatever fuck faces, uh, do your own thing, you know. Um, I'm just uh, giving my experience, my uh, opinion uh, for someone to use that to help make their decision, you know, because that's what I do. I, I like to hear other people's opinion, uh, you know. I love RC. Uh, it's it's definitely a a really good hobby um so yeah well as i continue to babble on i want to get the hell off of here peace the fuck out